What's up everyone? Today just a little video of tips and tricks of Symphony of War. Um, I actually finished this game, so I just want to tell some tips I, maybe to help beginner players mostly. Uh, here will be the list of what I will say. So if you don't want to hear me say anything, I'm just gonna go through this list. I'm showing here like slowly so you can pause if you want to read the tips. Alright, so that's it. Also, don't hesitate to join their Discord. Uh, the developers are really helpful, they're answering pretty fast. And uh, you have tutorial videos here, they actually cover... Like, I did watch right now the ambush and the firearm, because these are the things I were not so, so sure about it. So, uh, and the bond system thing, but yeah, I, it did not tell like how to actually get bond. Oh, I did not listen to it, so I don't know. But uh, anyway, you can go there if you have bugs and stuff like that. There is not much of bugs. I only seen one and it was on the last chapter, but and it will be fixed on the next version. Also, anything I say here could change in the future, just so you know. But yeah, all right, so I will go in harder. Unit have trade based on max, uh, based on class max, one natural trade per unit. So what I mean by this is like, don't go crazy like let's say you go i don't know if i will have uh, something here but okay i don't have much of example here but let's say this girl here you could go like oh she has one uh, one trade so she's good right but this magic armor trait is from her class so let's let's see if, me, if maybe i can show more actually uh, other classes like that have a uh, base uh, like magic armor, guardian, these are um, traits from um, from the class. She only has guardian and pulse as the original trait. Pole arm wire, guardian, it's from the class. This one is not. Pole arm wire, it and run are both from the class. So don't be impressed when you start and you see mercenary and you go like, anything attuned is not a is not an it's a natural trait, like a born trait if you want. Chivalry is also a born trait and uh, yeah so don't be impressed of cavalry they have a lot of traits but they're not real i mean they're from their class so don't go crazy in in the marketplace and buy like units because you're like oh damn he has like a lot of a lot of traits i mean this is a heavy cavalry so it's not the same but the light cavalries as uh, traits uh, i mean i could show a little more uh, light cavalries i probably have some here it and run, yeah. Um, like, okay. Here is my Barnabas squad. I mean, I mean, I'm kind of jumping to something else, but is the guy I'm using to train my uh, my leader guys? I did not use any of this in the game, but it's on purpose. But yeah, you, you see that guy Shock and Ha is a great leader trait. Uh, Prodigy. This guy has Prodigy and Silver Tongue, so you can have one leader trait you can have one born trait so this guy has both of them is a light unit as well i didn't even need to change him but you see his name santos the muse so you can see that this is a pre-made uh, mercenary when they have special name like that um like sir Roland is also a pre-made uh, mercenary so yeah these will have we can have even two traits like let me show you one guy that has two traits uh is it this girl i mean no it's not this girl um this guy cutro clock is also a pre-made guy as no you only have one you see stealth attack is from his um It's from his uh, his class. Wait, I, do I have a two two trade? I think I thought there was one. I'm not gonna look. I think you can have up to two natural trades, but I'm not even sure anymore at this point. Okay, so one trade, and you can have these trade with your regular like guys here. So you don't really need these unless the special one, the the pink pink red reddish names. 
maybe you can uh, they will have better things and sometimes not I think I'm not sure for the red but yeah so you can always like refresh these like Guerrilla Guardian these are from the class right so they're not special but let's say I want this I want this girl with the special trade from the beginning so you can just buy a bunch of them until you get one unit with a trait well it's really oh there we go unassuming so she will have less chance to be hit so if you want this don't put this as your front unit i mean it will just make them hit the other front unit so it's a use it's useful for rear hand units that you don't want to be hit she's water here so you could turn her into a mage she can become a witch and then deal uh, you know magic damage it doesn't matter if she's soldier at the beginning it's okay uh, let's see if I can get something else there we go overpower so fire fire gives strength overpower deal damage based on the de deal moral damage based on your strength so there we go so difference in strength so this is a really fitting one if it's not fitting you can make it fit that's what I will say later now I'm jumping a little ahead but yeah at the beginning of your game look at attribute and switch your unit with them trade are not important so as important so like I said this is optimizing but trade is not a huge deal so what you can do is just actually go there look at the affinity and base your units on this so at the beginning I what I think it's a good thing it's actually switch the units from your main squads that has like uh, you know uh, affinity that are being like weird like you have your frontline units that is water so I mean water is kind of okay because it give HP but HP and magic right so water I will use for mage I will go water or dark so m magic plus or HP for f fighter I will use lighting fire or hurt right hurt for tanks lightning for more like uh, you know uh, assassin uh, scout stuff like that and that's I, I know whatever leader based units that also not leader skill based unit with strength and uh, fire for other mate uh, others <laughs> other fighters so uh, for the strength part but lightning as you can see is a bit better for the skill thing but there is minus HP so yeah it's pretty much the same as fire but fire is better for heavy cavalry and stuff like that but heavy cavalry could also be hard but there is yeah anyway and dark is for either fires or mage but they're less likely to appear and light will be a good leader um a good leader units that you can put in barnabas squad but yeah so like i said what i what i do at the beginning of the fight i just switch the the merc not mercenary i i don't remember the terms of everything but you know there is a name for these right so you can recruit these little guys and again you, you can have like natural trade if you want natural trades that appear on them at the same time and it could be like oh yeah I, I know what i will do with this unit right and you will be able to change the affinity anyway so if you're uh, so yeah anyway I, it's it's gonna be a thing after that so i'm not gonna go there right away i'm just saying here i beat in the game without uh, using my arena so um, pretty much I only did few arenas so you can see here I have like still a lot of the tokens and uh, I actually spent some money on the recruit right now just to show so you can see you can beat the game without being crazy as well I did not do a single unit to uh, the tree starting so what you can do is when your units reach max uh, CP on the last on the tier 3 class you can use proof of merit and that will increase your your unit so you can do this like you see I have 20 so I could have increased 20 units with better stats for the last fights or the last chapters whatever I did not use a single one just to show you as well what you could do to increase your units I did not um, put any stat boost so I still own all of these so I in the game I got six of these 11 of these nine of these and uh, Medal of Valor, I mean, I still have some. Uh, I did use some of them, well, 10 plus on Barnabas. 
I said his name, I am not even sure if I'm saying the right name. Yeah, Barnum. So, because, yeah, I will explain later. Uh, I did not change any attributes, but you can always do it. So if you go like, oh yeah, let's go on Barnabas. So this guy is light, right? And he's been light his whole time. And I, I was, you know, the plan was to grow his leader to uh, to be a, a squad uh, leader. But yeah, let's say you don't want to actually keep it light. You can always change your affinity. And your affinity will... Uh, will change right away based on like it doesn't matter how you grow it will change right away to what it should be right so it's retroactive as you can see on the description below so you can always like a hand game unit could be adjust to their affinity you can you can see the difference is not that huge though like light is not giving anything so you can see their their water give a plus here so it's nothing huge or maybe i'm wrong that it's not retroactive as much i don't know because you can see the difference is not huge so yeah you can see a little bit like dark so strength and magic at level 44 it increased my strength by 16 and it increased my magic by also 16. So it's, it's around like a little less than half of your level, I would say. Uh, but from the affinity itself, like your units still grow based on their... They still have a base growth. Grow. I don't know. This is something I don't know though. And uh, some of you could tell me in the comment if you watch till there. But do your stats grow based on your class? I don't know. I don't know if it's only a flat change from the class. I think that I think that's what it is. I think the class j j just give a flat change, and you don't have a your grow is just based on every units will grow this amount of each level, and then your your tra your affinity will also give you additional based on this. As you can see, uh, light is giving nothing but leader and loyalty, so that should be what dark give when you have it right so just a little thing if you want to have you know your units to their best at the beginning put attribute on what you want but as you can see it's nothing really crazy but it's still like a 20 percent 30 percent increase i would say 60 uh, yeah i say a little less than half but it's still like 33 percent because something like that increase maybe even 40 percent something like that in that unit case right uh, you can buy mercenary for their resources so I think I don't have an example here but when you recruit unit you will see oh, yeah there we go so let's say another here resource use horse right so if I recruit this guy and I dismiss him or you can use it but whatever I will have now 33 uh, wait that was this guy yeah I will have now 33 horses, right? So I just had one more horse. Um, Barnabas later, okay. So this is the thing I was talking a little earlier. This guy has a leader, uh, a mentor trait. So greatly improved leadership growth of subordinates. And he, you also unlock um, in the tech tree, you unlock I will go. I will say go at this as early as you can. Non-leader unit in squad now gain leader at modest rate up to below ten of the squad leader. So that's why I put Barnabas. I gave him my, uh, you know, the the medal or something. I don't remember, but the leader boost uh, resources. Okay, so you want Barnabas? I mean, that's what I tried. I literally played a war game with squad in Barnabas being like leader units. And I'm gonna show you right now. Uh, maybe it's a point later. I would just keep it if it, it is. You see, it has 82 leader, and I could go in arena and farm right now to make all of these units maybe closer. So you basically they should go around 72 max, like not max, but at least 72. But you can see at the end, I have like I mean these two, but he has a prodigy uh, trait and he's light, and she's water, and th this one went pretty good, I guess. So yeah, 
um, it's not that crazy 52 61 60 like I wonder if I change a unit right now to like what happened right let's just uh, let's just do another test so let's say I want this guy to become a leader I never use my affinity uh, wait I didn't oh no it's because it's already and okay you have this one pretty early as you can see right now I only got one in the game and same with dark so maybe don't spam them right oh wow okay it's really nothing I'm not sure if it's a uh, well to be fair water also give uh, no it does not so only four liter it's like one liter every 10 level is it that I don't know I, I'm confused a bit here why the leader is not that much better because it's a plus plus leader I guess that leader is really hard to get but yeah uh, because I noticed that even like I have like uh, these guys here like general Mar Martyrash like this guy I did not grow her in Barnabas army for long and she has an insane amount of leader and I did not capture with her I never capture with her a single thing and she's still pretty high in leader so I don't know if it's just our base she's fire affinity like I don't know and this matriarch girl here did grow with Barnabas a little and as you can see 69 leader I mean that's still good uh, you can still b build a full uh, full rooster with this so yeah it's not necessary to actually train with Barnabas that much I did not see a huge increase but to be fair with what I just seen with the light tray I guess it's a good amount of leader that they get with him but it's not like crazy uh, crazy crazy like I said I did use my metal on him to increase his, his uh, leader so I could have like crazy leader other units and basically I could make eight other squads nine other no, hate other squads other than Barnabas with all these units in it. Oh, wait, that's a girl I was thinking. So there we go. She's the girl with the two traits. So Light Assault and Precision are both natural trait on her. So it can happen, but again, she's a special unit. Renalyn is still hard. I, she's one of the only units that will have this. She's really good, as you can see here. And I could make her a leader. She's 64 leaders with uh, artifact to remove squad amount and stuff. Uh, reduce squad cost. She could be an insane uh, unit right now. I'm not even using her as you can see. But yeah, I'm using her but in Barnabas squad. Not really uh, doing anything. So all of this uh, I did show. You can give leader boost to Barnabas to make him better. So there we go. Ma to make the mentor. Ma it's not mentor, but the you know the leader boost from the the tech tree. There is currently thirty chapter in the game, so uh, you can you can decide when to drop your mentees from Barnabas. Uh, I recommend around twenty minimum. Well, not minimum, but you do what you want, right? I would do it ar around it for twenty four personally. But yeah, around 20 there is some action, so you will see anyway. IS squad uh, in a amount in one chapter is 20. It's pretty a end game uh, that you start to have like 20 max squads. So if you want to make uh, you know as much as unit as you can, you ha you still have a limit of 200 uh, wall units. But with 200 units, you can make 20 squads. So let's say you have nine units per squads. And that's considering that dragon takes two, two, two squad uh, place, place two tile, if you want. So it, it costs less. But yeah, if you have full nine, you could have one hundred eighty units for uh, twenty squads of nine units. Uh, seizing increased leader. So seize with the leaders you want to increase leader. Also, uh, I did not note it there, but there is some units that you will show like some MC that you will be like, wait. They don't grow leader that much, but it could change in the game. I'm just saying this, it's spoiler a little bit, I guess, but they, some of units, some units will improve during the game. I mean, it's not that spoiler, so I kind of show it, but um, sometime in the scenario, the, the units will leave, but it's never for long. Okay, don't, don't do like me and restart your game by improving Diana or whatever, just because you're like, oh, well, she might be more useful. 
uh, but it's really not that long so it's not it's not making an impact that much like it's not like your end game where you, you will have like the troops that leave your army let's say you don't you you dismiss like five squad and when you have to keep nine right they will come back fast enough it will not make a big difference and also i could add to this okay and there is a lot of these squads here that i did not I did not uh, capture anything with them. I did not fight for most of the time. And they're still leveling up. Like, you don't really need, like, you see the level 40 Ds. And my strongest units are, I mean, 48. I, I know it's a big difference, maybe. But they're still leveling pretty much, like, a good amount. Even if I don't use them much. And these, I only had them for the last three, five, three chapters. Okay, so you can see they are not even tier 3 yet, yet for the classes. So you can see I, ne I did not really use them. So that's why they are not that high. But like this guy, I never fought, fought with him that much. And he's still level 41, 42. And my main guy is not a good example. Because he's the one give, getting most of the kills. So you can see it's really huge difference between the rest of my team. But just to show... Even the, the Nara, Abigail might be a pretty high. She's also another killer type of squad. But you can see. So 46, 48 for my mains. And everyone else is like 41, 40 to 43. So there's, I mean, Diana is, uh, yeah, 43. So anyway, just to show that even if you don't use them, they will still grow a good amount. But I don't know if you have to. They were always in the fights though. I don't know if it's... Uh, you have to fight with them or if you keep them in your garnison if they will grow as much i don't know for that i did not test this so again based on what i said no need to focus your army based on the scenario okay the difficulty is not that high you you will be able to uh, i mean first i did not find any big difficulty the fights when you lose some units are not that hard we, it, I know I think they knew it and they didn't want to stress the player too much so don't worry like unless even if you put all your resources on the on the squad that leave you should be able to beat still if you just recruit stuff and you know and, and even if you don't you should be able like it's not that crazy strong it's pretty easy I would say but maybe I'm wrong I did not try um, so just a little thing here if it's on your first run and you did not do your unit recruiting as i said like increasing your trade blah blah you can always switch like i showed you before you can always boost stats which i did not use but you could always like use these items to boost your stats etc right you can always do all of these things here to increase your strength in the end game so and the difficulty is not as high at the normal difficulty at least right all of this is just if you want to beat maybe to do hardcore or whatever i don't remember the the, the last name of the last difficulty name but yeah um in any unit you're gonna make a path based on your unit attribute yeah so as i i said it before but if you have an archer in his water you can always turn him into a mage uh if you have also a soldier they can become mage uh, the girl can become witch, the, the guys can become mage, the priest can become priest, of course. She, But the priest is the other one that will uh, that can change to a father type if you have her, but she can become a Valkyrie. I said Valkyrie, I think that's the name of the true that can attack. But uh, yeah, she won't be the optimal one. So maybe the healer don't go too crazy about it. Like, don't keep a fire type of healer just to make it. Because it will be a tier 3 class as well. So tier 2 will be a little, uh, you know. I Unless, let me just see something. Well, no, you can still, tier 2 still has Acolyte. So she's still, uh, you can still go uh, hard with her. Uh, strength I get uh, I mean so yeah you could still build a uh, medic to uh, acolyte and go with strength yeah so yeah no matter you 
your your uh, trait your attributes sorry you can always like change your units around to make them to adjust them to this so at the beginning if you don't want to recruit anything you can just look all the uh, the attributes of your units and make them on this based on based on this but i do prefer recruiting myself and put like art fire lightning in the front for my damage like tanks and damage theater for the front and water for uh, the mage and healers and uh, if you get light and dark in between dark is even better so dark if you want to deal more damage you can go whatever with dark unless you go with gunner uh, I, I don't know if it's named gunner, gunner but uh, basically fire harms don't scale with strength so if you have like art uh, attributes or light for leader or something else and you don't have great stats you can always go fire harms and they don't scale with your stats anyway but like i said hp is still great on them and yeah um during a fight look at the system menu so you can always you can always just go like I'm not gonna show the story and not gonna spoil it too much. I cannot skip this part. Okay, so you can always go like, oh yeah, there is 20 units I can put there. So blah blah blah. I don't even have 20 squads, but uh, let's start this. So you can always go like, ah, well, oh there is a bazaar. I. I, I don't have enough money. Maybe there will be something good in the bazaar. Let's go back to the base and I will be able to uh, to get money from arena or something. You can always redo your turn. So if you did a turn and you're like, ah, I did not like this outcome here. So let's say I attack this guy and I did not like this attack. You can go off. I can go back to, um. I mean, you cannot do redo your turn yet. Wait, what? Maybe you cannot from the first turn. I, I, I never tried, but I know after first turn you can do it though. But maybe you can for the first turn because it will be the same as doing restart here. So if you do restart, it's the same as redoing your first turn. Right, so maybe maybe that's why you have this. But keep in mind, you can always do just retreat. You You're not... You're not losing anything. You're not losing moral. You're not losing. I mean, I I never check really much. Moral good. I don't know. I don't know if they. I don't think they lose moral. It's all good. Yeah. So you don't lose anything by doing this. So don't hesitate to use these menu. If you screw up, you didn't. You want to train your one one uh, squad and your squad died on your turn. Redo your turn. It's it's okay, right? So uh, yeah, uh, ambush and sh ambush and charge. This is more advanced things. I did watch and it was on their Discord. Okay, I, again I watched your, their videos at the beginning, and this is where I learned it. I did not I did not even know about this much, but yeah, it's it's not complicated, but it's you have to remember it. So I guess it's kind of complicated or just don't worry and don't go too much with it but be careful when you see units around like towns like the little houses things and uh, if they have light cavalry around it so basically in the house townscapes or uh, forest so the, they call it the wood or the swamp if you have light units that attack you being in it or next to it I mean in it and you're next to it actually they can do an ambush on you and if they ambush you you won't be able to counter your first turn you we will have a counter at the end but you will lose one counter and it's the same for you if on offense so if you're in a swamp for example or in a forest uh, in wood and there is a unit next to the to, to the trees to the wood you go you can go on, with a light <laughs> With a light squad, like infantry or like cavalry, and I think I guess it's like cavalry also. You can go next to them, attack them. You will see on the animation. Go watch his video on Discord if you want better uh, information. But you will see the the attack, the sword in the bit uh, when you attack a troop. 
will show ambush. It will tell you it will be an ambush, right? So just be careful uh, to not go put your units next to uh, light ca light squads, enemies when they ha there is like a bunch of houses uh, together, woods or swamp. They will uh, they will deal more damage to you on on defense when you will be on defense. Well, they will deal more damage as much damage but you will not counter so by not being able to counter you will not kill units so there these units will deal more damage in the end if it makes sense if you don't kill them with your counter then it does not matter much but you will deal less damage to them on defense in both cases for charge uh, if you move six i think it's seven if you don't have the um, the tech tree so it's now easier um, instead of requiring having to move seven, it now becomes six, right? So if you have on open terrain, if you have minimum six style moved with your cavalry, you will do a, a charge attack and charge attack will basically stuns the units you hit with your cavalry. I'm not sure if it's only the cavalry, if you have like two uh, light uh, infantry in your squad and you're still like a cavalry type of movement. I don't know if these guys will do a charge. I never try. Okay, I'm just saying it's there. But yeah, it will stun the unit. It hit, and these units won't be able to counter attack if they survive, of course. But yeah. And last thing, like I said before, firearm don't scale with strength, so it could be optimal with units like her. Blah blah. So that's that's it. I think it's pretty long enough. I did way too much. Sorry about that. But that's some tips and tricks about this game. Uh, if I forget anything, don't hesitate to tell in comment. And I know some people in the comment will go like, hey, you, you're taking way too much time, blah, blah, blah. That's all I am. And I guess, yeah, I, I always feel like I forget something, but yeah. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I wish you a good one. Bye.